First business, Royvent, the company that I founded, led a business that opened a subsidiary in China at a time when other pharmaceutical companies, technology companies, heck, most major American businesses were expanding into the Chinese market because that was viewed as a potential new market opportunity. However, unlike those other businesses, I quickly realized that there were serious limitations to doing business in China. And in my time as executive chairman at Royvent, led Royvent out of China as the risks of doing business in China became more apparent. Then when I started my next business, and I became probably, you could look at the Fox News to TV hits for the last several years, became probably the most outspoken critic of companies expanding into business in China and the U.S. government's policies on it, probably of any major CEO in this country. Then when I went on to found my next business, Strive, to compete directly with the likes of BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard in the asset management space, I made a day one commitment that no major U.S. asset manager has made to say that we would never do business in China because I believed that you cannot be a good fiduciary as an asset manager if you have the boot of the CCP on your neck. You can't vote your proxies for U.S. shareholders in ways that don't take that business interest into account. Take BlackRock. They actually expanded into the Chinese market with their mutual fund business, but only after, and the Wall Street Journal documented this, they effectively did a lot of informal lobbying for favorable list listing standards for Chinese companies in the U.S. I didn't want to face that, and that's exactly why when I started Strive, we made that unique commitment that we wouldn't do business in China. And no, so but that's I, think I want, I want to go back, though.